our quick recap of the material that we did on our Westy Wednesday. Yeah, what a rocket night we had too. Kicking off on November 4th, welcome back night. Yeah, yeah, really good. So this is really great as a recap for those of you that came to class. If you want a more in-depth breakdown of technique and the movement, uh, you can sign up for our online dance lessons at shanecarydance.com.au. Yeah, all right. So we did a left side pass, and the variation was one, two, three, and four, five, and six. We'll do that again. One, two, three, and four, five, six. So fairly simple for the guys. One, snap it on two. You can take it down if you want. Three and four. And if you want to style the uh, anchor, trip, or step, just a little in and out. And for the follows on the two, we changed our levels, our height, and then we crossed over five and six. All right. Then what we did, we practiced stretch away. So we had really good opposition. We walked out our movements. One, two, three, four, five, stretch. Then sugar. One, two, three, four, five. Stretch. Getting used to that and then back to normal. One, two, three, four. Stretch. So we get that, build that connection. Then we worked on our one handed whip with the left hand. One, two, three, and four, five, six seven and eight. And what we said to the leaders, it was normal whip footwork, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, but they had to adapt to the depth of travel from the girls in that opposition on the three and four. And um, fellows and leaders need to make sure that we're adjusting our top line to create that connection, that consistency in the connection so that we never lose it, that it doesn't go from 60 to zero to 60 again, yeah? Yeah, so we create stretch, and if we have to get more off the track, we do that to adapt. In that way, it allows the lady, or excuse me, the follow to travel as far down the slot as the leader is gonna give her length of tether for, then she ends up naturally collecting, and then as the leader redirects, then she's coming through into that whip action. And again, stretch to move into the next movement. We hope you enjoyed those sides. And then the only difference we added in the second class was the hip catch. And then over, away, one, two, together, three, four, out, five, six. I had a hand change down to the arm and then spin that off. And so and we did that with the whip as one, two, three, and four, Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and eight. You want to show the other way? Yeah. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, and stretch. All right, that's it. Keep practicing. See you next week.